Hi everyone, it's Sarah here. Today I am working in my traveler's notebook using the February 2019 uh, Life Crafted Kit from Citrus Twist. And I am actually putting together a project for the Sunday sketch over on the Citrus Twist blog. So what you can see up in the top right hand corner there is just a very rough mock-up of what the sketch looks like. You can actually get a much better looking sketch over on the blog. Um, it's a nice digital version of it. But since I was filming on my phone, I went ahead and just hand drew that out so that I had something to refer to as I was putting my project together. So I'm starting off by just trimming down a piece of the six by eight pattern papers. I wanted something that was somewhat neutral, um, just so I could add in pops of color using some of the ephemera pieces. There were some really great die cuts that came in this month's kit, and I want to be able to not have to worry about using a bunch of different colors and having them clash with what I'm choosing as my background. So I went with one of the most neutral pieces pieces um, of pattern paper in the kit this month, which was that word one. Um, and then I'm backing my square photos using this other somewhat neutral pattern paper. There are pops of colors with the flowers, um, but I don't think that it distracts too much from kind of what's going on. I did end up backing that full sheet of pattern paper with some red line tape. I just find that a stronger adhesive works so much better if I'm using a really large piece of pattern paper or somewhat bulkier embellishments. Um, if the paper is just adhered with a regular um, kind of tape runner, it tends to pull up on the edges a little bit. So I just wanted to make sure that that wouldn't happen, um, which is why I'm using the stronger adhesive there. But everything else I'll be using my regular Tombow Mono um, tape runner on. So I'm just tucking a few of those strips of pattern paper on the top and bottom and in the middle. The six by eight pattern paper isn't quite long enough to kind of span the entire length of the notebook. So I went ahead and just covered up those areas. If you have white as your background on your traveler's notebook, then it's probably not gonna matter. But um, I did have a colored um, piece of paper as uh, on that page. So I wanted to make sure that that didn't kind of distract from everything else that I have going on here. So I went ahead and covered that up. I'm following the sketch pretty closely on the left hand side. I will switch it up a little bit, especially on the right. Um, I think that sketch was originally intended for a 12 by 12 layout, but as with all sketches, you can always modify them for whatever project you're working on and whatever kind of format you're choosing. So I am obviously working in a traveler's notebook, which is kind of a downsized version of a 12 by 12 um, layout. So I just kind of moved things around a little bit and adjusted them. I wanted to try to put them in the order that everything is on that sketch, but I'll try that first and then I'll kind of move things around to make it look um, just appealing to my eye and uh, make it look good for this project. I love this stamp set this month, so sweet with all the different sentiments. This love note sentiment was perfect for this page. And so I'm going to stamp that out. I'm actually going to have my embellishments on top of my um, title there. I love these butterfly die cut pieces. So I'm going to have a couple up there. You can see that doesn't quite follow the sketch um, up in the up in the corner there. The title comes first and then embellishments are kind of coming down the side. And then there's a little bit of journaling at the bottom and the date. Um, is at the very bottom. I had a lot to write, so I knew that it was gonna take up about half of this page. Um, so that's why I kind of switched up the order there. But again, if you wanna treat your sketch as just a jumping off point, that is a great way to kind of start a layout, especially if you're, if you're new to putting together layouts or you just need some inspiration um, to kind of switch things up. A sketch can be so great for that. 
And I found that with a sketch, I was actually able to pull in some pieces that I normally wouldn't have thought of. Um, for example, you'll see that I add in some photo, some photo corners later on in this video. And that's something that I never do, but because it was on the sketch, I wanted to try it out and I really liked the look of that. So I ended up leaving them and it was just kind of a fun um, variation of what I normally do. So definitely starting with a sketch can be a fun way to switch things up in your projects. So I'm going to adhere that little tab behind my top photo there and I am going to go ahead and add my date. I really love that um, a scallop border there so I'm going to add that to the bottom just finding ways to add in the same pops of color on the left and right hand side so I have some yellow going on on the left and then some yellows and pinks going on on the right I'm going to bring in some words on the right by writing out my journaling and that'll kind of balance out all of the words that are going on in that pattern paper that's on the left hand side so it kind of brings in a little bit more of the black ink and more of those words onto the other page. I did decide to hand, hand write or journal um, what I was writing out here. Just, I don't know, sometimes I choose to do that because it's easier. Other times I want to kind of add that personal touch and it just a lot of times it kind of depends on my mood what I decide to do um, but I did decide to go ahead and handwrite this here and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw in my journaling lines which are not really necessary since this is a grid paper and I was able to write everything pretty straight um, but it just again kind of grounds the words and uh, for me, I like the look of that a little bit more. So here's when I'm bringing in some of those fo photo corners. I'm going to try out a couple of different colors here. I'm actually going to go with this green pattern paper just to bring in a little bit of a different color. I was able to bring in so many colors because my photos are black and white here. So I knew that nothing was going to clash. And of course, everything in the kit already looks good together. So it just allowed me to make this a very colorful layout. I'm also going to add a photo corner to the top right hand corner of my layout which you won't see in the process but you will see it in the final photos at the end of this video. Um, but other than that this finishes off the page. So I will go ahead and link everything in the description box below all of the products and the blog post where you can find close up um, photos of the project and the original sketch. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.